Hello, I'm John Britt. Today we're going to make multi-sectional pieces like this. This is a sample of one. Yeah, there are many versions of it here. Like I do a whole bunch, like I'll put parts together. So here's a sample we're working on. Usually I make a base like this. And I make a, you know, the middle part like these. And then the top. And then I'll put a connector and just sort of join them like that. Okay, so we got to get started because we, we've got to be quick here. Okay, so I, I usually take like a pound, pound and a half of clay. So I'll make the body first. So I usually cone a little. I won't make this completely perfect, just give you an idea. What I do is go down to the bottom, then I'll open it up, and then do a pull or so. So that's where we're going to stop for now. Uh, you know, I may be a little more um, careful if I was really doing these, but since I'm just showing you. So I'll do a pull like this, collar this in, get it to, and then I'll start using ribs, bring this back into shape. And a lot of times I'll use uh, this tool, it's a throwing stick, and I'll come in to get my shape and uh, and that's it that's how I make the, the base form uh, then I will I make uh, have to make something for it to sit on so I usually this is just an upside down like V kind of bowl. Sometimes you can just hold this in there. And that can be it, right? Just like that. This will be the foot. So then I'm going to come in underneath here. And I'll cut that. I'm just going to let that sit and let that stiffen up. And that will be what it sits on. And then I need to do, uh, I need to do the stem. So, usually I'll do that off the hump here, and I'll go down pretty as deep as I you know get my finger down there. Sometimes I use a stick and I gotta get my needle tool. Then I'll sort of cut this off. Then I'm gonna come in sometimes with these I will use just use a rib and a knife tool sort of inside there. And sometimes I'll sometimes I'll let that be uneven and other times I'll be a little more straight up about it. Let me flatten this out a little. If I want that to be a little more even, I can do that too. But then what I'm after here, it's down here is where my foot's going to be of this part. And I'll cut that off. Usually angle up. And then I'll set that aside. And then the other parts that we need for this are going to be these like joining ones. And these 
these will be sort of like that. And I usually knife this off too, just right here. Okay, so that, that'll go on like that. Put those together, and then sometimes I also make little no, like knobby shapes on off the hump like this. Uh, they'd be some version of this, which I usually just you know make some version. Then I'll cut those off and set those aside. And so you can see now right here where I have those and I then I have some handles sometimes I put on and what I'll do then is I uh, will sort of select my pot that I'm going to connect like say I was going to use this one I will sort of pick, pick a base and see if it looks good and then I might you know decide if this is going to go on here if I need a connector uh, now, basically what I just have to do is on the bottom here is take my fettling knife, which I have cut down a little bit. I've ground it so it's real smooth uh, and sh uh, sharp. And then I just come in here and cut this so that it fits good. Because see, we threw it hollow. And then what I'll also do is I have a scoring little tool which I will then score this edge help and make you know so you sort of make it fit a little then I'll set it on there then you could you can see when you set it on there where it touches where it's wet and so I'll score that and then I have a container which I put a uh, slip in just a I'd use a tint and toner bottle and I deflocculate my slip so it's super saturated. So then I'll just set it down on there and make sure it's where it wants to be. And then I often will come in with a, a brush like this. It's a stiff brush and I'll come in and touch it up. Um, then I'll do the, t the top portion. This will connect here and this top one will connect too. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sort of cut out. I just cut this out here like that. And then it's going to fit right on there. And then um, I will do the similar thing with the slip. And then I'm going to decide if I want, you know, these little knobs that I had made, these little knobs I've made, I'm going to, you know, sort of set on there like that. Get another one on this side. Sometimes I'll do multiple ones. Sometimes I'll you know, do several, do several, do them all around. But it's just a way to take all these parts and assemble them into a multi-sectional piece. All right, thank you very much.